I'm going to show you in this tutorial how you can create this um, text effect. So let's jump right into this video. So we need first a merge. So we need a merge and we need text connected to the merge and rectangle mask connect to our text here. Now we need another text. This is connected to the foreground and a mask paint. Perfect. 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 So mask paint, not magic mask. And now what you have to do is to first create our mask. We're going to create like a um, hand uh, writing animation first. So first, let's uh, go to mask. We have to go first to invert here. All right. And now we have to click on here. On the stroke. And here we can go to brush and increase our size for our brush. And also make sure in stroke control, stroke animation, make sure here you write, uh, you select right on. Okay, perfect. And now, here make sure it's set to right on. And here also don't forget to add your title. Graphics and text. Increase size and now we'll select this text. Increase position around here. Go to mask paint. Make sure here is select to invert. Increase the size. I think even more is better. I like this. Make sure here you have right on. And now let's start our very animation. Now we also have here. Now we have this animation. Click here on invert, turn off. Now we have this just pretty cool, but it's very slow. So what you can do is to click here on keyframes. And now expand, expand stroke. And um, here, this is what we should see. Highlight everything, right click, select time stretching. And this will help us We'll just time or we'll just stretch what we just uh, created here because it was too long too slow and now is much better right so now what we can do now sorry is to go to text now we have this simple animation we can go now to text right here text or right here text effect Position this here. Change the font. I don't want something very complicated. Okay, this one is fine. Bold. And now we have a mask here. And this will just mask what we can see here. So now, if you go to text, select text, and you go to the text we create with the mask, if you see if you move the text here, uh, you don't see anything because we have the mask. Mask will just show what's inside the mask. If is something is outside of the mask, you will not see anything. Because this is the mask, we position the mask here. 
Now we can simply after we have this is done, you know, the writing effect, we can just make this text to pop up to show up, you know. So what you can do is right when this will end, we can go to the text, move here, and here to layout, click here and add a keyframe. And around here, we can just make this text go down like here. Now we have this animation. Um, if you don't like, if you want to stretch this, if you want this to last longer, you just have to expand this keyframe. And now it will last longer. We can also move this, you know, time stretching. So yeah, we can also go to spline here. And let's turn this off, click on this to zoom in. And click on S. So we can um, smooth this effect. You know, now we have the text going down, but uh, yeah, is now is to we can move this maybe around here. And now just make sure you position, you can go to mask paint because we have this uh, animation effect created. You can stretch this the way you want, time stretching, stretch this the way you want. You can also click on text and uh, highlight both of the keyframes and move it exactly the way you want. Now it will, the effect will start now but if you highlight both and move we'll start later so yeah you can control this or uh, deselect both and ex expand and increase the duration it's pretty cool and uh, yeah i think it's a pretty nice effect you can create and now we'll just have to connect this to media out and we have this very simple effect You know, so I hope you found this. And oh, by the way, I forgot to mention you can select the color if you want to from here. Sorry, that's background. So from here, if you want, you can select the color. And here for the other text. Now you have color and text. You can also add some uh, effect here, like some shadow if you want to. Drop shadow. Right there, drop shadow and effect. And uh, click on enter. And now you have some uh, effect, some. Uh, So yeah, I really hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and take care.